Coach Steve here. Today's video, we're going to show you how to link your watch list to your charts so that you can uh, scroll through your different symbols and not have to keep typing in the different symbol names. So, for example, instead of clicking up here and typing in SPY, I could link this chart by clicking up here and clicking red and then coming down to my watch list. And here's the little link symbol over here and click on this and click this one and let that one be red as well. And now if I just click on Amazon, I can see that the chart changes to Amazon. If I move down to the next one, BABA, Delta Airlines, Facebook, and it gives you a way to quickly go through your symbols and just take a quick look at the chart pattern and see if it meets what you're looking for. Now you can also have, if you have a second chart on the screen, you can also link that one to a red and have that one be at a different time frame. Perhaps you want a, a 60 minute chart and it would update both charts as you go through the list so you could see the uh, daily and the 60 minute time frame and see if there's you know a pattern that you're looking for. It's also possible to link one watch list to one chart and one watch list to another chart. So if I leave the red link on this watch list and leave it red on this side, what if I was to change this one to a yellow and then come over to this watch list here and change that to a yellow? So now I can scroll through this list and let's say they were both on daily and I just wanted to compare, you know, a stock symbol to maybe a futures chart here. And I can scroll through this list and this list will be changed as I go down this series of symbols. And if I come down here, I have my second chart is linked to this. So you can do, uh, you have a lot of versatility here. And with the charting function, if you come up over into this top right corner area, if I click down on this area, I can create any number of charts on my screen. And then I can have it to where I link, maybe I have one symbol up here on the top and maybe they're all linked together, but with different time frames. So maybe I wanted to look at Maybe I wanted to look at Facebook and I wanted to look at, you know, weekly, daily, 60 minute, 15 minute, five minute. I can set these charts up so that I could watch all of those different time frames. And if I was to then link all of them to red like this, then when I change the symbol down here, it would change all of them. So you could set up your your workspace so that you could be watching four different symbols and watching a, a multitude of time frames on all of them. Or you can set it up where you have a different symbol on each one. So th there's a lot of versatility in this program and there's a lot of features that we're, we barely even scratch the surface on what's possible with the Thinkorswim platform. As far as just being able to simplify your task of looking through a, a group of charts or symbols more quickly, using this link function can be a very big help. 